Welcome back, YouTube fam. We are back with another week of Married at First Sight, season 11, episode 7. Yay! That's right, that's right. The honeymoon is over. So they are back home, moving in, and the honeymoon is done. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely over, both uh, literally and figuratively. All right, so. <laughs> and once again, I'm Blythe. I'm Brandon. All right, and before we get into the discussion about all the couples. Absolutely, because we, we, we got to get into it. We, we're going to, matter of fact, forget the clips. But just forget the clips. All right, we're gonna get right into it because it's some it's some real it's getting real. It's some real life situations that yep. we got to discuss. That play stuff the, over. The play is over. Yep. All right, so we're just gonna get right into it. But before we do, okay, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get post notifications right. so that you know whenever we drop a new video. That's okay, right. smash the like button. Smash the like button okay it helps us out <laughs> all right if you're watching this i know a lot of y'all watch every week you comment and we love it smash the like button all right it helps us out and hop in the comments like you yeah, always do definitely get the all right yeah. uh we've been going back and forth with you guys about these couples we're passionate about it it's awesome it's great hop in the comments <laughs> to let us know what you think so we yeah. know that we're not we you know we're not crazy about the way that we feel <laughs> about uh these couples and what's going on all right other than that, let's go ahead and All get right. into it. Let's get into it. All right, Woody and Amani. <laughs> Woody and Amani. They got some. Uh, so, so pretty much this this week was mostly about them getting back from the honeymoons, moving um, in, moving in, getting mm -hmm. stuff from each other's house, right, and then having a conversation with Pastor Cal. Right, right. So kind of in a way, sort of kind of bringing their lives together a little bit here in the beginning. Yeah. Because it's still all so new. I mean, they've been married, what, two weeks? Right. Um, so going on two weeks or whatnot, but so they're just kind of joining and bringing their lives together. Right. Um, so Woody and Monty, as we know, they've been doing pretty good. You know, they've uh, connected in all ways. Relationships been exciting for them. But one of the main things we wanted to know was how is it going to be when they leave Paradise and come back to New Orleans? So Absolutely. we kind of started to see that. We found out that Woody lives with his grandmother. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about that? <laughs> Woo! Um, it is what it is. I'm not going to judge that man. I mean, personally, I would... You know, prefer my man to probably have been out, you know, living on her own. But that's just not always the case in everybody's story. You know what I mean? Like, we know that. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's not, I don't feel like it's nothing like against him or anything like that. Um, it was just kind of funny because it seemed like him and his grandma have like a real cool relationship. Like, <laughs> it's just funny. Like, I don't know. I just, I always, and I tell you this all the time. I feel like grandparents are different with grandkids than they are with their real kids. Because they real kids, I'd be like, nah, I did the grandkids. It's like, you can do whatever. And it, right, <laughs> nah. right. But they seem to have a good relationship. Like, they didn't seem to have any issues, like, living together, right? Like, it seems to be, like, good. Like, she had fixed them some food and everything. So, yeah. yeah. What you, I mean, how do you feel about it? What do you think? I mean, it is, you know, I would have to ask questions like, what, what is the reason behind it? You know, are you trying to save up for down payment on a house or like, what's, what's the plan? That's you know? true. They, so, they, so, so far they didn't really have a discussion right. as to that. That is true. So if he has a plan behind it, yeah. then I, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, now they haven't really had the money discussion, have they? No, they haven't talked about finances yeah, a lot. They so. haven't had finances. Yeah, that's true. But what they did talk about that was kind of interesting was, was the conversation with Pastor Cal. Mm -hmm. And they just got to talking about, um, you know, like communication, I guess, mm -hmm. and expectations and things like that. <laughs> and the, the real point of interest came when, you know, he was saying that, I just like to have that communication. Like if you're going to make sudden, he doesn't like surprises That's is what right. he said. That's so right. if you're going to make any major changes, mm -hmm. just let me know. You know, right. if you're going to come in here with like a bald head, you need to let me know for or whatever. And I think Amani kind of took an exception to that. 
How did you feel? Like, I, how do you feel about that? I mean, honestly, it is very early in a relationship, but I feel like Woody, you know, he kept it 100. Because he didn't try to fluff like, oh boo, I love you any kind of way. Like, cause it's early on. Most men probably be like, oh, it's all good, girl. In the back of their head, they like, no, I can't stand it. She better not do that. He kept it 100. Like he was up front. Like, you know, if we're gonna do something drastic, each of us, we need to come to each other and talk. I know it may seem like, okay, that's an appearance thing. What is he talking about? But let's just keep it 100. It's a difference between men and women. He definitely kept it all the way above. Um, Men do feel like physical appearance is important, correct? Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. And I know she brought up, you know, well, that's like me saying, you know, Mm. what did she say? No, he said, that's like me quitting my job and coming in here and then just being like, oh, quit my job. It is what it is. And didn't right. discuss it or say anything to her. And she was like, oh no, that's something totally different. That's the way, you know, that we, we pay our bills. Mm-hmm. And you She know, was like, I can change my hair or go bald and we can right. still go to work and pay our bills and stuff. Right. And so that, that brings into a discussion of like that men and women value different mm-hmm. things though. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like for y'all, mm-hmm. I think the primary thing is like, you know, protection and provision like you know what i mean you yeah. guys want to make sure the bills are paid that is a like big deal. that yeah. security is what is major for y'all yeah for us that's not you know what i mean the number one thing you're not nor most men are not looking for their woman to come in and take care of them and pay their bills no. exactly right like in our mind oh we got that that's him we right. got you know what i mean right. for us it's like you know a lot of the uh, we're, we're drawn by we're very visual creatures yeah, we are. It just, you know what I mean. So that's important to us. So Amani is saying, you know, well, no, that's <laughs> totally different. No, nah, that's, you know what I mean. Like that would be the equivalent of him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Quitting his job, mm-hmm. and now you don't have that major thing that you are looking for in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, you cut your head bald, and I'm missing the major thing that I'm looking right, for. You know, right. maybe not the only thing. I ain't yeah. saying nobody shallow or yeah, nothing like that. Yeah. But that's true. We're very visual creatures. Yeah. And he didn't say it would be the end all, you know, he's yeah. done. He didn't say he that. Didn't he say was that. just saying, let's communicate, let's talk about it, you know what I mean, before we do something drastic like that. And both both sides, you know what I mean? So I like that. Like I said, he was being on hundred and yes, you when you are married, yes, you do need to talk to your spouse. You can't just go do anything and then come home to yourself. I mean when you start doing stuff like that, you just open the doors up for some problems. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that you really have to understand and get used to when it comes when to marriage married, and a lot yeah. of people and that takes time. So exactly. I'm not I'm not judging takes, because that takes new. time like, to they like they just they didn't even date like, Right. You know what I mean? So like, that takes time to mm-hmm. like understand that and be able to like accept it. Accept and, and mm-hmm. let go of some things like you mm-hmm. cannot just make any old decision that you want to mm-hmm. make without consulting your partner anymore That's like right. you know what i mean you guys are now you guys are now one mm-hmm. so yes you still are an individual right yes you right. still you know you don't have to lose yourself in the marriage or in the right. other person exactly but yeah. you do have to take their wants their desires their opinions into consideration, into consideration. yeah that's you very do. true that is so 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 very true yeah and that's something that they are learning they are <laughs> they are i'm not gonna lie i did say though like you also on woody's in you do have to learn to pick your battles like well, you know what true. i mean yeah that's true absolutely i th- i know you like that you know he went ahead and kept it 100 I mean, uh-huh. it, it, and that's a good thing too yeah. but at the same time you also in marriage have to learn how to pick your battles. Cause yeah. I mean, do we really think Amani is gonna come in with a bald head? <laughs> probably not. I think you probably hopes not. But. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know, but sometimes it's just like, uh huh, yeah, okay, babe, and keep it moving. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, hey, he wanted to, he wanted to make his point known. So he did, cause you remember he had so, an example of a situation. Uh, remember with mm-hmm. like a child involved, which it is serious. A lot of times. Yeah, that was serious. That's true. He, um, you know, he did good. 
you know, backing up his claim with that. That's true. <laughs> that right. Evidence. He had a good reason. Because so. that was a real one. Like, that wasn't even something like, oh, that's stupid. Like, nah, that was serious. He felt some kind yeah. of way about, uh, what was it, the child him and the ex were looking to have or something, and she decided not to do it. And uh, Oof, that that's... affects people. A lot of times, you, you'd be surprised. Like, um, I guess a lot of times, maybe when we think on the men don't care, they're not affected. But, yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah, they, they really can be. Or just both parties. You got to take... Like we just said, you gotta take each person's, um, you know, feelings and consider, you know, into consideration their thoughts and their feelings, basically. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. At the end of the day, he was real about what men value, though. I mean, he was. Let's not let's let's not uh <laughs> let's not act like it's a small thing or it's a secret or it, it's not it doesn't exist because it exists. Let's just let's just be real about it. That's true. Um, you know, the man, they do want you to keep yourself up. I mean. Right. Don't come in here with no bald head. Right. See? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm wrong. You ain't got to worry think, about that, but we good on that. <laughs> I, I, I think they're still good. I mean, so far. Yeah, you know, absolutely. They're still pretty. They're still good. I think they still got some. Uh, I think they need to explore and have some deeper conversations. And they I don't do. know if they've had yet. They do. Oh, yeah. Because uh, remember. What? He asked them if they was using protection. <laughs> yeah. So. So they might want to have those conversations for a pop up. Uh, <laughs> for the mm. pop up happen. What he saying, like he? That's I what know. he was trying he to. He said he was that's ready. What he was going for. It, yeah, so. Monty was like, uh. <laughs> it's only natural. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that concludes Woody and Amani, right? Pretty much right? it for Woody and Amani this week. Yeah. Who we got next? Next we got Olivia and Brett. Mm. Woo! Olivia and Brett. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I am very surprised, but I just I don't know. I didn't see this coming so soon. Nah. nah. I kind of thought they were gonna be cool, 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 and then bam! I thought later wrong, you know, something was gonna hit, but oh. Yeah, man, I. They, they, oh, shit. I those, a, those waves are crashing right now. They are. Yeah, I, I put out a strong vote of confidence for them last week, and I'm, 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 I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't know about I'm them tell anymore. You, I'm gonna tell you, since last week, there's been a major shift. <sighs> Since that money, con- in Bruh. my opinion, since that money conversation and what that rating. It's been, it's been downhill. A sh- it's been oof. It's been downhill. Um, it started like they went to each other's houses, <laughs> and she was visibly not feeling that man's crib, like Mm-mm. just not feeling she it. Wasn't. And I mean, it wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't a mansion. She was, but she, but then it wasn't even like. It's not Her like house wasn't bad, but it's not like she was in like a you know what I mean thirty five thousand you like, know thirty yeah. five hundred square foot brick three story yeah. like you know what I mean like hers was like maybe slightly better yeah like the way she was acting I was like oh okay I guess we about to go to a new right. deal you know what I mean modern you know it was I mean? like okay like it was it was nice and I think it's in a nice maybe a little bit better decor <laughs> it's in a probably nice a better area yeah probably a better but area. like. I was like, I but don't know. Okay. To be looking at his house the way she was, like, she was walking through there like, she was, I just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's, it's that other stuff lingering. It's lingering. It's lingering. Oof. I hate to say it, it's, it's taking them down though. Yeah, it got They're going to have to come. I don't know. Yeah. The conversation with Pastor Cal. Yeah. Yeah. I know it started out. It started out kind of kosher. We're, yeah. we're okay. You know, he did a good job. He tried to take him back to the wedding day and have him reminisce yeah. on how each other sure looked did. and what their initial thoughts were. Started yeah. out good. That's true. Started out good, and then it went bad. Um, man, they started. All he did is like he just finances, <laughs> <laughs> and then. Like they just went off, man. They are on two different. But ends you could tell it's been spectrum. like pent the tension up. was yeah, thick. like it's it's been there and it's been like we're gonna try to be nice. But then he like like you said he picked he pulled that pick out of the uh, what you call it 
the, uh, the little, grenade. yeah, the grenade. He pulled yeah. that pick out that grenade. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, he was, yeah, that's what he said. Have y'all had the conversation about, yeah. Mm. Olivia, she tried to be nice. She Ooh. tried. Brett just went. So in. yeah, like, like I got to get on Brett this week though. Like and 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 there's you know there's wrong on both sides and there's yeah. some right on both sides. Yeah. But no, my not, issue, yeah. my biggest issue is the way that Brett was talking to her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's and that's one thing that you have to really learn in marriage is how to argue. That's you know true. what I mean? How to talk like, to your spouse. You're gonna yeah. have arguments, you're gonna have disagreements yeah. in marriage. Yeah. But you have to learn how to argue. But he was like going there, like Yeah, like he was just like, you know what I mean? Like uh, you don't know how to budget. She was like, I do know how to she literally told me she doesn't know how to budget. <laughs> like <laughs> Like, oh, do what you want to do with your money. It's yeah, your money. It, it Go sounds around. Like I'm just, not gonna be doing it. Like Right. <laughs> She's like, so you don't wanna travel? Sure, if you wanna foot the bill. I'm like, bro. Mm. It's just like you know, if you're making less than your wife. You don't really like that's not really the time to be like condescending and kind of be like a jerk like if you're making less than your wife you might want to be kind of nice all right you might want to maybe well, let me clean these dishes tonight babe uh it, let me rub your feet here tonight He's and maybe get here maybe it, get though. some miles action get some miles and karen rubber feet action like Brett, brett's not here for it he's not only am i he's going not. to make significantly less than you but I'm also going to be a complete jerk <laughs> in the process and not do anything fun. It's like, Brett, do you hear yourself? Do you see yourself? I don't know what's, what did, I'm not sure what's going on. What do you feel like is appealing out of any of that? Yeah, I, I can't call it. I can't call it. I don't know. I can't call it. I'm like, it's the money thing. It's the rating. It's just everything. It's just coming down on him. He just can't, What? Uh, he can't handle it? I guess not, but yeah, I mean it's- Cause I definitely think he's attracted to her. Like he was attracted to yeah. her, you know, like he wanted to get with her, you know, you feel him always. He's like, oh yeah, I can get her, I can bag her. But then when these rest of these conversations came up, it just seemed like he done kind of, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like it just seemed like he just taking steps back. Like he just, the walls are going up. I mean, I just don't understand like why you have such an aversion to like doing anything fun it seems like i i feel them like you know how frugal i am like i'm a penny pincher to the fullest yeah but he but there's mm. a like i i believe in saving money and, and yeah and, and, and but i also believe like in having fun too like yeah. I, I don't know that there's a balance i guess and i feel like he is just like uh, save money, save money, save money, retirement, retirement, retirement. And it's like, what are you going to do when you 65, 70? But I don't even, I feel like it's, I'm not trying to be on your money or something. I feel like that's what it is. I don't even know if it's just like, I definitely do think that's his mindset, but I feel like it's also like, yeah, do what you want to with your money. Like, I, I definitely feel like he's feeling some kind of way. Like, he's that man's man, I feel like, like that old school, like, I'm the man. Right. So right. I just feel like, <laughs> um, and this is like you don't think so? Not I, the old school man? man? No, you're one hundred percent right. But I feel like a lot of couples in marriage today still come into it like with this individual mindset. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's not us coming together as one. So when it comes to finances, and I'm not telling nobody how to run a marriage, but I I just feel like when you get married, the finances are one. You know what I mean? You're supposed, but everybody don't feel that I know way. everybody don't do yeah. it and everybody don't feel that way. And I, I talk to a lot of married people and they be having issues and I'm like, why are y'all? Why y'all got separate like accounts for everything? Yeah. yeah. Like I, you know, oh, I pay this much of the That's, mortgage and yeah, they pay that much same. of. The, yo, when you get married, a man and woman come yeah, together, kind of, you become. But see, one. they haven't. Well, 
I guess it don't matter because you're talking about people who probably dated and still do that. <laughs> this is true. Because I was going to say, they did, you know, they haven't dated, like they haven't had that time together. That, but you know what? It don't matter. It, it could still be that way either way. It really. can. But so what I'm saying is like their, their money comes together, right? So we put it in. Uh, 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 you know put it in a joint account for like expenses and stuff like that and then you have from there you have your budgets you know what i mean you have your budget for your cat and your video games or whatever yeah. i got my budget for inter we have our entertainment budget yeah you know what i mean we have a budget that we set aside the 401k but is important to you just... you know savings is important to you so we determine how much we're gonna put there we're gonna i'm not trying to have a financial literacy class but he's not he's not feeling that way it's it's, it's i'm i'm t <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. It's just that she's bringing in more money. He's feeling some kind of way. I'm telling you. Because I, you know what? If he would be cool, I think she would be like, okay, I'm bringing this in. You know, this is, we're going to divvy up. Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? And I think that would be straight. You know what I mean? Because she's going to be like, and every now and then we're going to go here or we're going to go out here or whatever. Right. But the fact that he's like, no, nah, I'm not really trying to do that. It's like so. What, it's I mean, hard. Like they hit the wall. Yeah, but that's that's the wall. Cause I think you're right. I don't think she's the type who's just gonna hang it over his head mm -mm. and try to hold, you know, control him by the. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Like, nah. I don't think she's that type. But she does want to still do stuff. She wants to still live. She wants to still There's live her wrong life. With that. And wrong with she that. doesn't want to like. I'm trying. You know, I'm making a decent amount of money. I worked mm -hmm. hard to get here. These are the things I like to do. But now. I can't do them anymore because you don't want to do them because you're insecure about not making as much. So I have to sit here in the house and we'll stroke our cats and play video games. Like, bro, art, Brett, like you, at some point, you got to step outside yourself and be like, dude, like, how does that look? Like, my wife is trying to, you know what I mean, soar and do the things she, she enjoys but I don't want her to do any of those things. I want her to sit here with me because I don't make as much money as her. Like you have to be, have enough self-awareness to see that that is just, it's not cool. It's not gonna work. I agree. I agree. I, hey, I don't know where this is going. I didn't see this coming. I did not see this coming. I don't know where this is going. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not looking good for them, man. Like I really had, I really they, thought yeah, they were okay hopes, last yeah. week, and now kind of like they were good, like they were out the water. But now I'm like, ah, mm -mm. she started crying, and <laughs> Bruh, he is a like he's a jerk. Like I'm sorry, I don't like. Do you think it's because the physical though? Because they haven't connected on the physical level yet. Mm, you think that could maybe they might soften them soften up a some bit. Of ah, hmm. It might. Ah. Yo, the verdict is out of them. I'm going to be honest. I, the verdict is out. I don't even know. Yeah. Woo. All mm. right. That sums them up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's move on to Amelia and Bennett. Woo. So they've been smooth sailing. Yeah. Um, Amelia, I don't know. She's in like this big roommate house. That's an interesting uh, living arrangement there. Um, okay. I ain't never seen that. Like, I've seen people, like, be roommates and stuff like that, but I've never seen, like, a mansion. And then she didn't really have, like, a room, though. Remember? It yeah, was, like... Yeah, kind of an open Yeah. Space. I was like, okay, Amelia. Yeah. Okay, so then Bennett, the, uh, he had the tiny house, the cute little tiny Bennett house. Bennett has the tiny house. Okay, he did build it. Yeah, but my problem was no kitchen and yeah. no bathroom. Come on, baby. Come on now. Yeah, like, hey, if he had... I, I, I'll even... You can even miss me with the kitchen. But if he had a bathroom, <laughs> like, maybe you just eat out. Like, we could deal with the tiny house, but we got it. micro fridge, and you know what I'm saying? You eat out or whatever. Yeah. If he had a little bathroom, and then I don't know about the air situation, the air conditioning. So that's... <laughs> That's a concern. Heating or air? Heating or air. <laughs> if you had heating or air in a little bathroom. He said, we go across there and that's where we go. We're not going to be able to do it. And the media was like, oh my God. Right. I'm like, yo, either she's putting on some really good acting she's or she's really great. down for the cause. Um, but They are something. They are something. They really are. But... 
But then uh, Pastor Cal came. Pastor Cal came. Yeah. And he introduced what I think they had already identified as what might have been a potential mm-hmm. problem. But kind of just trying to blow over but like kind of, cool. you know, mm-hmm. and Pastor Cal was like, nah, y'all need to talk about that starting mm-hmm. now because that's going to be an issue. So it was like, we're cool. Uh, when that day comes, we'll deal. So the issue was that she's going to she just graduated from med school yeah so now she's got to go to residency and so apparently i'm not all that familiar with the process but you have to apply for residency and yeah, then it seems like you kind of a... go where you're able mm-hmm. to go type situation it's, different, it's probably gonna be a different location right yeah so with that said like yeah uh, you know clearly it looks it sounds like amelia is going to be bringing in the most bread <laughs> So <laughs> it's gonna be a situation. Yeah, because they had to talk saying, Oh yeah, um a million saying I'm gonna be working and then um she's clear like I'm gonna continue on with my medical degree, my medical field being a doctor, and then he was like, Yeah, I'll be cool with the kids, you know, freelance and doing my writing and my music. Like they were cool, like Which is like yeah. yo, I think that's dope. Like tr- like I believe traditional gender roles uh-huh. of the man being the provider. Yeah. Uh and you know, the woman and being the nurturer, you know, the home, you know, builder, or whatever right. the case may be. But sometimes, you know, I think generally speaking, yeah. that that works, or mm-hmm. that's the most ideal situation. But I don't think that that is the be all, be yeah. all, you know, end all for everybody. Mm-hmm. I think those two <laughs> are perfect for yeah. what that situation is. I think they're then both very good. free spirited. Yeah. You know, individuals, yeah. they don't really get into the whole gender role things. I don't think she would act really any different mm-hmm. towards him nah. with him, you know, being more of the, the, the homemaker role. And I think he's that would be cool. does not have that, you know what I mean? That machismo yeah. that most men where have. Where so we're like, uh, like, yeah. he, <laughs> like gender roles for those two, they don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't really abide by those. So I think that's perfect for them. Right. But... That means that if she has to go somewhere else, the location thing, that's he's gonna that's have gonna to pick something. up and move. Yeah, that's gonna be something. That's gonna be something. So is he gonna be okay with that? Is the question. Whew. Um, so Pastor Kyle was like, We gotta address this now and they were like, Oh, we're good, we'll handle it when the time comes. Yeah, but kinda of kicking the can down the road. Yeah, but... he was like uh, and they were like, uh what was it? They were teasing for the next episode. Um Yeah. You know, we'll see how that's gonna go, how that's gonna play out for them. Yeah, that's that's gonna be tough because I mean it's gonna be something major. It is. It seems like I don't think I think she asked him in a previous episode had he had he ever uh, left uh, New Orleans, and he said no. So he's got he family has a lot there. Of set up there. He's yeah. got he said he's got like a theater company yeah. there. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much money he's making from that, but still, you know what I mean. Some like he's been working on for yeah for years. He's been there for a long time, so he's got family. He's got yeah. friends. He's got you know. He's got all that going on. Right. And so, yeah, this is somebody that you just met like two weeks ago. Just a lot to consider. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. I don't say, I, I can't say that I fault him for not being able to answer that question at this just time. Just yet. Yeah. He doesn't yeah, have Yeah, it's me. You got something to think about. He does. He doesn't have a lot of time, though, unfortunately. Like, he's, he's, he's going to have to make his mind up here soon. Wow. You got seven weeks. That's true. To determine if you want to, basically, he's gonna have to give his life up for this person that you just met seven weeks ago. It's tough. I mean, kind of, sorta. Let's not say giving life. We could be moving into something new, greater, and better. Could be, but you really don't know. You don't this know. Person. I know that. Look, that's the change you're taking. That's like. But that's the change you're taking. That's like. When you get married, you don't know everything and how it's going to happen. Normally, yeah. If you're going into getting married, he would already know that she is in medical school and there's but a I'm saying You don't know what's going to happen years down the road. A lot of people expect things and things go a different way. 
Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's some stuff that's gonna happen to you that you just you don't have any choice in. Like right. you don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, control her. But anyways, change happens. Change isn't always bad. Sometimes change is good. Mm-hmm. It's perspective. We gotta take perspective. Perspective. So Amelia and Bennett, I still have high hopes for them. I still think they're going to be good. But yes, they are. Um, everything's not going to be, you know, rosy and kind of candy and peachy all the time. They are going to have, um, they're going to have some hard hitting decisions to make too sometimes. So for sure. We'll see. Right. That's right. <laughs> all right. So that's it for Amelia and Bennett. If you haven't yes. done so already, as we always say, okay. Smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get post notifications so you know whenever we drop new content, okay? Do us a favor, guys. Smash that like button, okay? If you're watching and you're enjoying the content, you're enjoying the discussion, smash the like button, okay? And hop in the comments. Comments. Hop in the comments. Let us know how you feel about these couples. Let us know who you think is going to make it. Let yes. us know who's not. No chance whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, let us know how you feel. It's getting real. It's getting serious. It's getting real, guys. It's, it's getting real. The fairy tale, the love. The honeymoon is definitely over. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. See y'all next week. That's it.